Hello, students. This is Mrs. Teixeira talking to you. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Uh, today is time to have our Clio lesson. And in our Clio lesson, we will talk about a Brazilian festival that is called June Festival, Festa Junina. All right? First of all, we are going to study a little bit of the history of June party. And later, we will study about a painter that loves June party. And at the end of the lesson, I'm going to explain you about our homework. Okay? So, it's really important you pay attention during this lesson to have no doubts at the end. Okay? So, let's start. So, the June Festival, June Party, Festa Junina, is a Catholic tradition that was introduced to Brazil during the country colonization by Portugal. So, it was Portugal that brought the June Party to Brazil. Its events are based on the European Midsummer festivities. So, in Europe, they have uh, a festival in midsummer and they celebrate the harvest and the scents during these festivities. Which scents, teacher? St. Anthony, St. John, and St. Peter. So, they celebrate the harvest that is colheita. When we talk about colheita, we think about corn and uh, things that come from farm. Consequently, we think about the, cost, the clothes that people wear when they work in a farm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. We think about countryside traditions. That's why in Festa Junina we wear this kind of costumes. Aquelas roupas, as fantasias, né, voltadas para o interior. We can speak with the accent interior. All right? So, because this festival celebrates the harvest, events can take on a countryside theme, do the costumes, which resemble a typical style and conjure images from farmers. So, as I told you, people wear this kind of costumes to remember that they are celebrating the harvest. Ok? Colheita. Então, lembrando que a ideia principal da festa junina veio com Portugal, onde eles celebram o dia dos santos e a colheita, o período de colheita que eles tiveram. Por isso que nós, no Brasil, nos vestimos também com roupas típicas de interior. And the food is prepared using local ingredients. Mm -hmm. So, the food is also a dish made in the countryside. They use ingredients that they plant. Local ingredients. Did you know this? That Festa Junina, it, it is involved with harvest, colheita? Or is it new for you? Nice. Now that we study a little bit about June party, uh, I will talk to you now about a famous painter called Alfredo Volpe. Alfredo Volpe is a painter that loves the flags, the little flags, as bandeirinhas. In, in almost all his paintings, you can see the little flags, bandeirinhas, in quase todas as obras. It's possible to see the flags. Let's study a little bit about him. So, Alfredo Volpe 
was born in April 14, 1896, and he died in May 28, 1988. He was a famous painter of the artist and culture Brazilian modernist movement. So he was part of this modernist movement. He was born in Lucca, in Italy, but less than two years later, when he was two years, early than two years, he was brought by his parents to Sao Paulo, where he lived for most part of his life. So he was born, ele nasceu in Italy, but when he was almost two, quase com dois anos, the parents of Alfredo Volpe parents decide to change city. They uh, moved to Brazil. So he lived uh, most part of his life in Sao Paulo. Okay? Volpe was a self thought painter, producing his first naturalist painting at the age of 12. What means self thought? Self-thought is someone that learn by himself or herself. We can say that is autodidata. We use this word in Portuguese. So, he was a self-thought that is autodidata. Okay? And he, paint, uh, he painted his first painting at the age of 12, com 12 anos, his first Painting. He soon focuses into a most peculiar style, using geometric abstract form and switching from oil painting. So he starts with geometric abstract forms. Okay, this was part of his. He started painting facades of houses in highly stylized and colorful manner. So, he used lots of style to paint the facades of the houses. And they were also very colorful. Look at this one, guys. Can you see the flags that I told you, bandeirinhas? Many. Here, it's possible to see one of them, too. In 1960, he developed his trademark. Trademark is marca. That were bandeirinhas, the small flags, for which Volpe become famous and which originate from Brazilian folklore. Small flags are regular fixture of the popular Festa Junida, held every year during the month of June. So, what is bandeirinha? Bandeirinhas are small flags that we use in Festa Junina. We hold it, penduramos, during the month of June. And bandeirinhas are part of our folklore. Aren't they? Yes, they are part of our folklore. So, he used bandeirinhas as his trademark, como marca dele. When people uh, see a painting with bandeirinhas always come to their mind Alfredo Volpe, okay? The artist used a small flex pattern to show an increased sense of color combination and balanced composition which would eventually place him among the major Brazilian artists of time. So, teacher, but he paints only bandeirinhas, that's not so creative. But he used lots of colors while he was painting bandeirinhas. That's why his paintings are so nice. Look at these two paintings that we have in here. Look at the colors, how he use them. All right, now that we study about the June party and the painter, it's time to talk about our homework. What you have to do. 
You have to choose one of Volpin's painting and try to reproduce it using your imagination. During the video, you could see many of his paintings, but you can also search on Google. Yes, Pinturas de Volpe. Choose one and reproduce it. Reproduzam. How can you reproduce it? Uh, you could use some pieces of colorful paper, pedacinho de papel colorido. You can use coloring ink, tinta guache, tinta óleo, colorful pencil. Use your imagination. But what I really want that you try to do is a challenge, like the ones that we have at Instagram, okay? So, you, sh you can record a challenge with your friends. Remember to record a challenge. Each one can be in their house. Não precisam se encontrar. Vocês podem estar em casa. And you can use his painting as inspiration. How do I think it? For example, you are in a group of um, six people. Each person is going to draw, for example, we are going to reproduce this one, the flags. We have one, two, three flags and one, two, three sticks. So, I'm going to draw this flag. I hold this flag, seguro essa, essa bandeirinha, start my video, then I throw it down. Jogo essa minha bandeirinha. Someone that is responsible to glow it, quem vai colar a imagem, is going to take the flag and glue it in the paper. Then, another person is going to uh, throw, lançar outra bandeirinha. Then, the responsible take it, pega essa bandeirinha and glue it on the paper. Did you understand? Yeah? Então, façam esses eh, em pedacinhos de imagem e vão jogando ou passando, vão supostamente passa para o lado e o amigo pega e cola na folha sulfite. Depois vocês unam todas essas partes e montam o challenge, ok? So, you can choose one of his pictures. You can also dress up with June Festival costumes. Para, para gravar o challenge... Vocês podem estar usando uma fantasia de festa junina. As meninas, as meninas podem estar com uma chuquinha no cabelo, os meninos de chapéu e bigodezinho, ok? So, you can dress like a, a June party costumes. And, if you don't record, teacher, but I don't want to record, não quero gravar, ok? But, when you send me the picture with uh, the painting that you reproduce, I want that you take the picture using the June costume. Vai tirar foto com a obra pronta. I need that you wear the June costume, a fantasia de festa junina. Okay? When you finish, you must send it to me by email or WhatsApp until June 4th. Here you have my email and my WhatsApp. If you have any question, guys, doubts, question, send me a message, okay? Let me know that you are having some problems or doubts to do your homework, all right? I hope uh, you do a good job. Thanks. Bye-bye.